Welcome back to more absolutely wild Reddit stories. Uh, back with us today is Jackie Uwe. And uh, first time here, Keith Lee. Yeah. I just threw a gang sign. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Keith, do you do you ever go on Reddit? Are you a redditor at all? A redditor? Yeah, it's that's what it's called. Reddit. Yeah, yeah. Obviously not. No. <laughs> okay. That's, that's a redditor. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I I think you would like some of it, but hate most of it. Yeah. So we pulled a bunch of stuff that I I think you'll like. Yeah, I love to hate. Do you, Jackie, do you go on Reddit? I do. Uh, <laughs> yeah? I don't ever post, but I... <laughs> You're a lurker? I'm a lurker. Oh my what, God. Can you, are you willing to say like your favorite subreddit? Uh, some of my top ones are like the Bikini Bottom Reddit. Okay, that's uh, this, a good one. The SpongeBob meme one. What the Bikini hell Bottom is Twitter. this? Uh, I'm on the general Real Housewives uh, okay. Reddit. I just be lurking there, and then I go city by city sometimes, and I'm like, ah, I'm not going that far along. I you know, kind of pull back. I pop into the Smosh Reddit. I oh, we, got a, we got a Reddit? Smosh does have a Reddit. So most of this stuff that we pulled today Ooh. is from places like Am I the Asshole okay. or Relationship Advice. These are like stories that people write anonymously to see like, hey, am I crazy in this situation? Mm. Is my friend being a jerk? Am I being a jerk? Mm. Um, and they get weird. Okay. So buckle up. All right, is, it, is there a seat belt? No. Okay. No, you're, you're on your own. Okay. Uh, here we go, here's our first story. <laughs> uh, this comes from uh, relationship advice. Mm. Uh -huh. So this is a 27 year old woman. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, she says, how to tell my, my friend who's a 26 year old woman, she's being used by a guy who's 26 <laughs> to make me jealous. I don't want my friend dating this guy that has a crush on me. Should I tell her to, to not pursue anything with him? There's this guy, let's call him Mike. I know through a mutual friend who occasionally comes out with us. In this particular friend group, there's five of us and six when Mike comes. Mike just moved to our state where we live uh, about six months ago. He immediately took a liking to me, but he's not my type. I haven't even given him my number and will let him know we're not compatible. He isn't weird about it. After I curve him, he will go to do other stuff, but still may buy me a drink or some food throughout the night. Fast forward last night, my friend, let's call her Mariah, comes out with us. Mariah is normally part of another circle of friends, but she wanted to come out with us. Uh, the night starts out similar. Uh, he asks if I'll finally give him my number. I said, no thanks. He jokes with me and then preoccupies himself. That is until Mariah comes and he meets her for the first time. Out of nowhere, he's chatting her up and they're laughing. They did a karaoke du uh, duet where Mike sounded awkward and couldn't dance or sing, but Mariah killed it. She tells, uh, she tells how much she likes that Mike just is himself and isn't trying to act cool. I suspect <laughs> Mike was trying to make me jealous. It didn't work because I don't like him, but it isn't fair to Mariah. She texted me letting me know she gave Mike her number and that he's taking her out on a date Saturday. How do I let her know Mike is just using her without hurting her feelings? She didn't know Mike has a crush on me. Uh, uh, sent on my phone, so excuse any typos. Um, okay, so see, mm. just to summarize, mm. this guy Mike uh, often hits on her, asks for a number, yeah. she keeps telling him no. Finally, he goes and talks to someone else, and mm -hmm. she's like, "Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I need to tell her right. that mm -hmm. he's not actually into her." Right. Yeah. The, the the thing is, she doesn't know Mike is hitting on all the girls in the group. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like straight uh, up, she's trying to. Talk He's talking to he's talking to Shatia. Yeah. He's talking to Karen. Yeah. He's talking to Ashley. Yeah. He's also talking to Mariah. He's talking to whoever the other. He's talking to all of them. Mike yes. does not care. No. Yeah. That's the thing about like a lot of guys. They just really don't care. They're just trying to get it in where they can, where they can mm -hmm. fit in. And who's what's the one girl's name? Mariah. The, the, no, not Mariah. Oh, the, one the, the one who's like got. She's like. Like kind of ego tripping. The, who, ma ma what's main her name? girl? She doesn't have oh, a she name. She doesn't girl. have a name, so we should just yeah. call her oh. Janet. You typically call we typically call the person who wrote it uh, OP. OP. So yeah. o o original poster. Ori mm -hmm. Okay, OP. So OP. Honestly, she has like, she has. You, okay, I think a lot of people, we've all been in a situation where we, we like to be liked by Amen. someone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yes. I think she's just, she's <laughs> jealous because she's not getting the attention anymore, which is the problem. She wants the upper hand. And I feel like people that want the upper hand like that, uh -huh. like, you got to watch out for them. 
You know, I have been in this uh, situation before. One in the upper hand? Not me. I'm not OP. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am not. Not me. Like uh, I'm at 27. <laughs> okay. Uh... Right. I am at 27. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it sounds like, I, I mean, the fact that she's so concerned about the fact that she needs to be the one to tell her, yeah. hey, he doesn't like you, you're a basic That's ass bitch, crazy. he can't like you because he liked me first, uh, and he's just trying to make uh, me jealous, so I just, I really don't want to get your feelings hurt, because he, there's no way he's interested in you, oh. he just wants me. Someone in the comments accuses her of being jealous of, of, of the Mariah. other woman, of Mariah. And she goes, no, that's not the case. I'm actually rooting for them. If he's not using her, but I know how guys are, clearly you don't, and that's okay. But don't imply things on me because you don't know how guys work. Uh, what? I'm so Come sorry. On. I'm Wait. so sorry. I... <laughs> Isn't she doing that to the everybody involved in the yo, situation? Yeah. Yo, guys, yeah, it's that a is whole, what she's doing. It's yeah. a whole projection screen. A yeah. whole projection screen. Um, wow. Uh, someone, a guy, steps in uh, to defend the woman and points out that op the OP is indeed jealous. That he goes. Uh, so a guy writes, "I am a guy." I know how guys are. <laughs> He's True. into her. Quit trying to make it about yourself. I've asked out more than one woman in a night. Every guy on the planet has. Doesn't care. Move Seems along. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Move along. She, she responds, uh, have you asked out another woman's friend after said woman rejected you for six months? Uh, he responds, wouldn't think twice about it. I wouldn't ask out an ex's. I wouldn't ask out an ex's friend, but a friend of someone I had a crush on. That means nothing. Sorry, you don't have his attention anymore. Ooh, yeah, that's I, it. I, I think I think people don't realize like guys can often work like you know those toys that bump into a wall and they immediately yeah. just go like yeah. another just direction. Figure out or just like, direction. Okay, like and we just yeah. keep moving. Like well, uh, I mean, also women do it too. Like I've hit on every one of Keith's friends that I meet that's single. <laughs> the funny thing about it, she y'all like all jokes aside. <laughs> She's not lying. <laughs> yeah. We're hey, working on, look, we're working on look, right we're, now. We're in our world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh no, okay, not, okay. Look. I'm like, no, he's good. <laughs> he's on the side of the club. <laughs> not like, that one, not okay, that one. Okay, let me shake my ass with somebody else. <laughs> this one, he's cool. <laughs> just night at the Roxbury. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. hey. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think this, this comment chain continues. Uh, so she she says after the guy says hey that's how this is how guys work like they they don't we don't care uh, she goes okay well I should clarify a gentleman wouldn't do that at least not on the same night after asking for the girl they've been crushing on's number but it is what it is that's the problem with men today no one is raising you all to be gentlemen oh my God. Uh, he he then responds right I didn't realize you were the royal princess of Kottenberg. <gasps> oh. <laughs> And you deserve the etiquette of being properly honored by the man you rejected. Woo! He, sh oh my he, God. he should sulk in shame for a minimum of a fortnight. <gasps> should he have brought you more food and drinks? How about a foot rub? Again, we can all see that you're upset he's moved along because you love the attention and freebies. Grow up. Yo, this dude just clapped the back like none other. That's crazy. He's good. What? Yeah. He's good. When you started reading that last comment, I was like, has Damien entered the chat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, indeed! Yeah, I was like, why is this in Damien's voice? Someone else said, uh, in regards to like her comments, <laughs> they said, her comments just make her look terribly jealous, regardless of what she says. If I were a betting gal, I say she likely wants to make sure her friend knows she is the main character. Mm -hmm. uh, and then someone said, OP has now texted Mike in order to prove he liked her. And in his response, he's totally chill and doesn't give any indication. <laughs> he's asking Mariah out to use her. Uh, a saga. Um, wow. Uh, that's just a whole lot. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, because she could have easily been like, okay, cool, like move on. Yeah. But yeah. she had to make a whole thing out of it. Yeah. She literally went to the internet to write about this. Yes, yes. because attention is a hell of a drug. Mm -hmm. If you get a, a certain amount of attention, and you, like you get it for a little bit, once that's gone, you know what I mean? Some people, I know people that don't want attention, but they get it, and then yeah. when they don't get it, they make a big deal out of it. Like.
Like, <laughs> legitimately, I know some people in my past that's like, yo, like, you say you don't want attention, but you do this and you do that and blah, blah, blah. No, you want to be seen. You yeah. want to be yeah. seen. You want to be heard. You want all the focus on you. And, I mean, like, if you like it, just say that, but I think she's denying it, and that's yeah. the problem. Right. Right. Yeah, that's the problem. Because she's probably still single and alone. See? Oh. Uh, I mean, every indication shows that. She's right? alone. Because uh, if the guy is hitting on her for six months straight and yeah. she doesn't say, I have a boyfriend or Hold something. Hold on. Yeah, and that's yeah. why she's single. And she's single in her little palace of <laughs> Tingberg. <laughs> <laughs> man, places. that guy must have felt so great typing that yeah, out. Yeah, absolutely. Like, man, it's my finest work. <laughs> he's <laughs> like, he felt triggered. <laughs> he said... Um, I, felt, I felt so man-shamed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I'm not a bad one. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. All right. Am I the asshole for not helping my friend upgrade her TV even though my kid broke theirs? Ooh. <laughs> Hold on, do we gotta read this one? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It feels pretty clear. Uh, okay. <laughs> Earlier this month, my friend had some people over and a lot of us brought our kids. I brought my daughter, who's five, and my son, who's two, Ooh. and supplied the main dish for lunch. The adults were talking in the living room when the, uh, while the kids played throughout the house. Normally at home, my daughter knows how to use the remote to turn on her shows. While we were talking, she found the remote and tried to turn on one of her shows. My friend was playing some music on the TV, so she wasn't allowed to do that. My friend told her to stop and told her to hand the remote over. My daughter didn't like that, of course, because she's five and five-year-olds don't understand things like that. Mm. My <laughs> friend, they don't understand <laughs> questions. Uh, my friend kept demanding the remote and my daughter started to get upset. I told my friend she's just, just a kid and she didn't mean anything bad, so she shouldn't be so demanding. <laughs> she asked me to try to get the remote from her. <laughs> but I felt like my daughter would have a tantrum if I took the remote, so I said no and leave her alone. She kept being demanding with my daughter and she threw the remote at the TV. Oh! After that, I picked her up and my son and took them to the car and went home. Mm. I couldn't deal with my friend and my daughter being mad at each other anymore. I didn't see anything wrong with the TV when I was leaving, uh. but one small spot was broken. That's something wrong. Uh, my friend sent me pictures of it and asked me to pay to replace the TV. I felt like it was partly her fault because she was demanding with my daughter, but I decided to be the bigger person and just pay. Oh my I God. asked her to send me a link to the TV and I'd buy the new one. Here's where I think I might be the asshole. Now <laughs> is where I might be the asshole. My friend uh, said they were wanting to upgrade uh, the TV so I should send her the price of the old TV so they can get a better TV. Uh, I feel like that's taking advantage of my daughter and my kindness, so I said no. I told her I'd buy the same model TV and nothing else, which I think is fair. She told our friends who were also at the lunch and they kept bugging me about sending her the money. They say it's all the same money to me, but it's the principle of the thing. Am I the asshole? Okay. Okay. Um, Why are we fighting with children? <laughs> first of all, <laughs> that's my first question. The thing, and my thing, my problem is, it sounds like little Caitlyn runs the house because the mom oh. was, the mom was afraid that she was gonna throw a tantrum. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, where's the order? If my, look, I'm just trying to think of my mom in a situation like this. My mom would not go for any of her friend's children. Like, no. I wouldn't, with my mom, I wouldn't be making noise. Come on, <laughs> yes. I, At the home. I don't understand whenever, like, I, look, I'm not a parent, so like, I, I, I it's a realm that I, I don't feel I can critique too much, but whenever I see kids, like, young kids, who come up to strangers and demand them, mm -hmm. I'm like, I remember being five and being scared shitless of like, fucking with strangers. Yeah, like, exactly. other adults, I had to be like, Stranger danger. Whatever, like, or just, yeah. just even my parents' friends, I can't, like, f with yeah, them. Yeah, and if yeah, I go yeah. to someone's house, I can't f with them. Yeah. Right. That's auntie. Um, it's like, no, yes, auntie. Look, see, this <laughs> thing, I'm, I'm also not a parent, but... I, it's a parent. But, but I'm not a parent, but I, I will critique, and that little girl, <laughs> come on, come on, we need some discipline right yeah. now. The fact that it's like, it's like, no, that's her remote now. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm like, hey. You're up for us. Uh, mm. So speaking of discipline, there's an edit here. Uh, 
I don't know what everyone expects. Ah. It's, it's not like I can spank her in front of everyone. You just think I don't discipline her at all, but <laughs> people are so sensitive these days, I can't whoop her at my friend's house. <laughs> well, uh, whoop her when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. My, re whooper. my reaction to that, it's like, it's not even about spanking, it's just like, you as the parent, hey, tell your daughter to give the remote yeah. back. Yeah. Like, why are you making your friend do this work? Yeah. Like, do yeah. it. Also, like, how strong is the five-year-old's grip? Take the remote. No, like this, this is my future Olympian daughter. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> she's like as big as the rock. Yeah, like, and threw it at a TV and broke it. I mean, yeah. she's got, but she's got she's, some muscle. She's gonna get a scholarship yeah. someday. So yeah, it, you know, she brings up. Uh, it's not like I can spank her in front of everyone, as if that's the only option. Yeah, right. There's a million, a million things, things. I assume you can threaten a child, and it works well. <laughs> I've, I've, I've gotten a couple I've threats. I've gotten threatened. Mm -hmm. And I've let me tell you, I stay in line. <laughs> if, if you're in line, stay in line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stay in line, that's right. Just, just. I'm still scared. <laughs> <There's> so <laughs> I am a rule follower to this day. Oh my God, that is true. You it's are. true. I'm like, wait, wait I, I didn't want to do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still scared of authority. Nothing. I never got hit. Nothing ever happened to me. Mm. I just knew. I just respect authority. So yeah, and then there's the financial side of this, and she's just the the friend is just asking for the price of the original TV. Yeah. So that they can put it towards. She doesn't want her to buy the old TV again. Okay. She okay. wants. Hey, just the amount of money. That that it was worth, right. so that we can buy a new TV. Yeah. But for some reason, she has an issue with that. But it's like well, it's the same money. The, the 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 mom the mom of the daughter has issues with everything. Honestly, mm. the daughter like it's it's way it's just too much for me. Yeah. It's too much, and I I think the the friend is actually being logical. You know what I mean? Like straight up logical to the point. This is what it is, and I think the I, I really hope that somewhere along the way the um the mom with the daughter. I hope that she can like she learns to discipline her daughter some type of way because this kid is on her way to jail. <laughs> she on her way to jail. I'm just telling you. I, I I got a couple cousins <laughs> and it gives that. And they are in jail. jail. <laughs> you know where they're at? Jail. <laughs> no, hold on. Prison. <laughs> oh my god. She's going to prison. <laughs> I feel like it's a it's a fair ask. Or like if if she's like Okay, she dented the TV, and you. If she feels like she's being taken advantage of, it's like there's also. Do you want to replace the screen of the TV? I will send you the That's money fair. to replace the screen. It's That's like, fair. cause like there is a difference between taking your broken phone to Apple versus taking it to like a little kiosk. Yes. And in they the corner, just you yeah. know like eighty bucks yeah. float you that to fix the screen. Some of us have done that. Yeah, I've, you've done that. Yeah. I've got friends. Some of my friends done it. I've never yeah, done it. Yes. I mean, there's other ways. There's also, <laughs> I'm also the type that like, look, aesthetics matter, but if, if it was like the TV, if like the frame of the TV was maybe a little messed up, but the screen works perfectly fine. Oh, yeah. we're moving I on. think I'm yeah. someone who'd be like, fine. It depends, I, I probably wouldn't want to talk to this person anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, this is just such behavior. But Shane, you avoid conflict. Yes. We don't have to talk about that, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shane's like, yeah, no, I never talked about that But also it's again. like, <laughs> her, her, <laughs> so anyways, moving on. Yeah. Um, uh, but like, it's, it's not like this is gonna get any better. And if someone is this selfish, it's like, mm -hmm. yeah. are you expecting them to just change mm -hmm. overnight? Like, um, but we have some comments here. Uh, hear the you owe her the money, however your friend <laughs> uses it. Uh, however your friend uses it is up to her. Maybe parenting your child would be cheaper next time. Uh, someone else says, you're wow. the asshole. For one thing, your attitude absolutely sucked. Uh, if you can't teach your children to respect other people's houses, you shouldn't be taking them there. Boom. Your child acted horrendously and you have the nerve to get upset at your friend. Yeah, that's not cool. Also, you're the asshole for not doing the right thing and just sending her the cost of the TV. Your kid broke it. Pay for what your child broke, period. Yes, you break, you buy. And last comment, uh, the comment about five-year-olds not understanding thing kills me. Uh, I teach five-year-olds mm. and the only ones who don't understand boundaries and rules are the ones whose parents don't give them boundaries. Even my kids who come to me from special ed understand the basic rules about respecting other people's stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like by five, you can have yes. a general sense of don't break other people's TV. Yes, Absolutely. don't throw a remote at the yeah. TV. Yo, I was doing whole math, math equations by five. None of y'all believe me, I was lying. <laughs> I wanted to get out a pen and paper and yeah, do some math equations right now. I was right like, uh, 
that I was some math. I like, was reading like, in French at five. Let's cut to the clip of us all trying to, 47, whatever that <laughs> fucking math was in Beppardy, 42, 47. 42, 40, 45, 45, Oh 46. my God, don't embarrass me. <laughs> I am <laughs> embarrassed. I'm still thinking about that episode. There's a lot of pressure. Uh, yes, oh my God. God. Yeah, okay. kids understand. Kids are they more, they're brighter than what we give them credit for. Kids are smart. I also, yeah. I love, I do, I will say, I love talking to kids like adults, oh, like yeah. not like fighting with children, but just like, I mean, kids are really smart. Yes. They're very smart. Absolutely. And so it's like, let's not undermine the child. Right. You know what I mean? Like, um, okay. Um, next story. <laughs> <laughs> Would I be the asshole for not attending my twin brother's surprise birthday dinner when I was only invited as a guest? Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so I get it. It's their birthday too. Right. So it's like, okay, yeah. okay here we go. So I'm a twin. My brother and I hang out all the time and we are super close. In a few days, it's our 25th birthday. We share the same friend group and we're all really close and have been since high school, uh, have been since school. Uh, he has a close group of girlfriends, about five of them, who I have also known for many years. I would class them as being closer with him in recent years, but we are still good friends and socialize often together. Now, I have been added to a group chat labeled my brother's name surprise dinner. It is a surprise birthday dinner for my twin brother organized by one of the girls in that group and they have invited me as a guest. One of them also said in the group that it would be nice, uh, it would be nice to see me as well. So I just feel like an afterthought. I wouldn't really have minded if the girls wanted to organize a surprise birthday evening exclusively for my brother and themselves, but they have also invited my partner and some of my brother uh, and I's closest friends. This feels inconsiderate and quite uh, upsetting as I can't understand why I would be invited to my literal twin brother's surprise birthday dinner with me only invited as a guest as it is also my birthday involving all of our friends. My girlfriend also found this action to be extremely rude and wondered why this girl didn't just reach out to her and then they could have organized a surprise involving both of us instead of, uh, instead or have just involved both my brother and I and left the surprise element out of it. In the chat it is, clearly stated that we are all to arrive at one time while my brother is due to arrive 20 minutes later. The thought of attending makes me feel weird because it's just a celebration for his birthday <laughs> when he and I are literally born on the same day. This isn't new information to the organizer. Also, every year my brother and I do something together because we want to and mm -hmm. because we have the same friends. Mm -hmm. Last year our friends and my girlfriend set up a massive dinner for our birthday to which everyone was invited, including the girl group. Now I'm at a crossroads. I don't know whether or not to attend. On one hand, if I don't go, I will feel left out because our mutual friends are going. But on the other hand, if I do go, I will feel like I am letting myself get disrespected and I will uh. likely feel uncomfortable as it feels like only my brother is being celebrated. So would I be the asshole if I took a stand and didn't go? <laughs> There's an edit here. Uh, my girlfriend has just checked the chat and the organizer has booked the dinner for 10 people and a set menu. There are currently 11 attending, excluding my girlfriend and I. If we went this would make it way over capacity. Now we really aren't sure if we should go because what if we turn up and there is no room? This makes it slightly more awkward as we may not be able to just pull up a chair and join. The dinner is tomorrow also. Uh, what? Yes, he <laughs> is the asshole. See, this is my thing. If he would have RSVP'd earlier, he would have a seat for sure. That's, that's, not, what, that's kind of unimportant. He's using uh, that as an excuse of yeah. like, why, oh, you know what? Actually, the reason I shouldn't go is there's maybe not enough room for me anyways. Yeah. Oh. He's definitely doing a whole woe is me kind of yeah. thing. Um, I, now, here's, here's the like defense for this guy is that it's all of his friends. It's yeah. like his whole social circle. But they're right? not as close anymore. Still the friend group. It's his oh, friend group. Yeah. It's he and his brother's okay. friend group. And so it is his birthday also. Okay. But yeah. everyone's just asking him to come to his brother's surprise birthday party. I think he's feeling like nobody's acknowledging that it's his <laughs> birthday as well. I, yes. I, I understand that. I, I'm going to say, like, I yes. understand where he's coming from. Yes. I think he needs to communicate that better. Yeah. And, and, understand that more like yeah or he could just show up and it'd be his birthday too <laughs> that's what i do sometimes if my friends has a birthday i'm like oh it's my birthday too i mean <laughs> <laughs> on, on, on their birthdays that aren't your birthday you like, know i think it's also that it's he's being looped in as like it's a surprise for his brother oh, and yeah. so it's like oh. it's just very much like oh okay like i got cool. an easy fix he could show up with his brother and act like he doesn't know 
Boom. Surprise! Mm. Happy birthday to y'all! See, and this is where uh, the emotions of it all come in. <laughs> oh, I can see that. I, I feel like his feelings are hurt. Definitely. Right? Like, and I think, here's, I feel like if he does not want to go, he does not have to go. He can do whatever he wants. Mm. It is his birthday. Yeah. He can spend his birthday doing whatever he wants. If he doesn't feel celebrated, he is not required to go. That's okay. Mm. If he wants to do something with his brother or celebrate with that group of friends mm. where he feels like he's the center of attention, mm. then maybe they can plan another thing. Or when the when he was added to said group chat, that is when you go to the side of the group chat and you'd be like, hey, like I'm, mm. I, hey, can we talk about this? Right. Or like, can we just like, like you know it's my birthday too. Yeah, like That's hey, right. like I'm feeling like this feels weird mm. or or like you know what I mean? Or if mm -hmm. or if his girlfriend wants to do that on his behalf and like side, you know, whoever's organizing it mm. because it seems like the intent for the friend group is is like good, right? And also mm. like maybe it's like okay, Maybe he needs his own little surprise party to make himself feel better. Like, not to be rude. No, no, for <laughs> like, sure. I think a lot of it's the framing of it. The way yeah. that they're like, yeah, you can come as well. Like, yes. It wasn't like, oh, it's your birthday also. No, that's how I, they don't like him. There must, <laughs> uh, that's how I know. Because this is the thing. Have you ever been friends with a brother and a sister or like whatever? Yes. And there's always the one that's just like, uh, we don't really want them to come. Yes. Oh, you can come too. Yes. Do you've been there? I, I have been in they a don't very like similar situation. Mm -hmm. He has some and, character flaws. But like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he has agency. Like, if he doesn't want to go, he doesn't have to go. He can just be like, no, we're not. Yeah, it feels <laughs> Like, I get that it feels <laughs> If he doesn't want to go, he doesn't have to go. Because it's mm -hmm. like, hey, I'm not going. I like I don't want to. I feel weird. Like whatever. Yeah, and he can do whatever he wants to do. It's it's very it, yeah. And, and the verdict was overwhelmingly not the asshole. Yeah. Uh, yeah. People sided Overall, with him. Yeah. I think the only thing I'm thinking is is like it feels like if he doesn't go, like his brother didn't do anything wrong. No. And is that like him right. not showing up? Like I would mm -hmm. kind of be like, I I would I don't know. It it'd be hard to then not show up to my brother's, like I would want a surprise right. for him too, you know what I mean? Right. But I get that and I I feel like he, that's that's gotta be a tough dilemma for mm -hmm. twins of mm -hmm. like you're always lumped together. Mm -hmm. You never yeah. get your always. own individual thing. Yeah. I can't help but think that it's like neither of them ever get to have their own individual right. party. Yeah. Well, I think that's where it's like, okay, if the girlfriend also feels like, like if everyone feels like, oh, like that's weird, and like, yeah, it is inconsiderate. Like mm -hmm. it's it's it is yeah. absolutely inconsiderate. And and because you're in this scenario, okay, then what, right? Like, yeah. uh, how are you gonna celebrate yourself? What do you want to do for your birthday? Is this the the day that you go to Six Flags by yourself on your 25th birthday? Oh, it sounds terrible when all the friends <laughs> are gonna be on the. Yeah. But like, it's like, or or is, is is someone gonna organize? Like, is your girlfriend gonna organize you a, a, your own thing? Oh if yeah, that's he does have thing. a girlfriend. Like, Where's she at? She's mad. She's she's, she's upset. She's upset for him. Sounds like um, some homegirl's got to plan a party. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that is also that all does suck. Is that like days before? It's like basically your whole friend group says, "Hey, we're not yeah. celebrating your party. Yeah. They're they're doing nothing for your mm -hmm. birthday uh, because we're doing this." But he also didn't plan a birthday. True. It's true. Like he like how, especially look birthdays are a tricky tricky situation. True. It's a tricky situation. That's a really Wait. awful reference. Um, what happened? Sorry. <laughs> That's a really deep cut from the Wedding Singer musical. Mm. Anyway, um, no, but like, so, okay. Like, let's also, we're all th talking hypotheticals. So like, mm -hmm. this dude is also like, I wonder what we're gonna do for my birthday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like, he's just like, oh, they played like, can you I, can plan a birthday? Can I say something though? Yeah, I have absolutely. a theory, I have a theory. Yeah, go ahead. What <laughs> if there is a surprise for him planned? That's what I'm saying. See, yeah. Never freaking know. Yeah. Because yeah, it's like it is strange that this friend group invited his friends. Yeah. So this this feels this feels fishy. Um, but and there's an update. Okay. This might change everything. This mm. and everything's different. <laughs> hey, sorry guys. I know you all have been wanting an update, but I felt like I really had to sit with my feelings for a few days and really think about the nuances of the situation. I also want to thank you all for your supportive comments. It made me feel like I wasn't going crazy. Haha. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> 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 There's been a lot of common questions, so I'll try to answer those first. Could this be a secret surprise for me, too? No, definitely not. I was... 
I was added to the ch group chat with all the other guests and was given instructions on when to be there and when we would all surprise my brother. Also, this girl is not that thoughtful, haha. -ha. And if it was a secret surprise, my partner would have known and wouldn't have just let me suffer in silence. Does this girl have a crush on my brother? What? I was actually... So I guess uh, people were asking uh, if she has a crush on, on his brother. I was actually impressed by people's intuition. It's not really a straightforward crush. She's been uh, hot and cold with him, but they aren't together. Mm. I do think that she tries hard to be the most important girlfriend in his mm. life, though. So I think her organizing his surprise part, uh, surprise dinner is her way of further trying to achieve that status. So you guys were spot on. Uh, to the few who said that I need to get out of my feelings and go, I would have I would have absolutely had no problem uh, at all if they wanted to do something with just my brother alone. Yeah. If they had just left it to their girl group to celebrate him and left me out of it, I respect that they are closer to my brother and I would have been happy for him. The problem arises when I'm invited as a bystander and my partner and some of my best friends are invited too while completely disregarding that it's my birthday also. Yeah. That's what made me feel <laughs> Why haven't some of my closest friends who are invited say, uh, say anything? Haven't they said anything? I got a call from a friend the day of the dinner and he said he spoke with our other close friend and they agreed that it was extremely rude and a strange thing to do. I asked him why none of them spoke up on my behalf and he just apologized and said he didn't have any excuses for it. They still ended up going to the dinner. <laughs> My, my other close friend rang up uh, the day and she said that she is not attending because it doesn't feel right to do. Then this close friend ended up texting one of the girls from the group, uh, that group explaining why she won't be there. The girl then responded with uh, excuses and said it's not that big of a deal. Whoa. So I spoke to my other close friends who are also twins. They weren't invited to the dinner. And <laughs> they weren't invited. This to, uh, and just asked them how they would feel if they were in this situation. <laughs> they pretty much said the, what the majority of you all said. They were so angry on my behalf and said it is extremely messed up and that they wouldn't go uh, if this was them. They then created new dinner plans with myself, my girlfriend, and my brother, and our closest friends so that we can do a new Ooh. celebration after our birthday instead. Yeah. I didn't go to the dinner, it was two <laughs> nights ago, so my girlfriend and I went to see a movie instead. We figured if we took the uh, radio silent route, our absence would hopefully speak for itself. I was really considering saying something in that chat, but I was also not wanting them to paint me as aggressive. I was also considering calling my brother the morning of and ruining the surprise because I wanted to let him know uh, what was going on and just talk to him. But at the same time, I felt like an asshole doing that to him. I wanted him to have his moment too. So I decided to wait until the day after the dinner to say something. I spoke to my brother yesterday and showed him the post and he recognized that it was very rude and stupid of her and said it felt weird for him too. He explained he had nothing to do with it, which of course I already knew that and let him know that I never blamed him for it at all. He said that at the dinner, the organizer said that she invited me and my partner, but that we just didn't come. So he wasn't actually aware that I was invited only as a guest until afterwards. Mm. But he hasn't said anything to her yet. I'm not sure if he will mention something to her later on or not though. The organizer hasn't said anything to me either, but I don't really care about hearing from her anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, both me and my brother went to the new celebration dinner together, which was really nice and we both had a really good time. So really this whole thing just highlights who my actual friends are. Yeah, uh, wow. Uh, I am drained. I know. Yeah, that that was, you know what? Draining. That girl, she's fuming. Cause yeah. she wasn't invited. Look, I, uh, Oh, cause she wasn't invited. Uh, there's no selection. way she was invited to the, the, and she's just at home like. <sighs> yeah, so now it's gonna be uh, a, a tip for tap thing. It, uh, uh, this relationship's not gonna work. Uh, bitches, man. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't yeah. know, you know what? I really think that, you know, sometimes you just gotta speak up and say, what it is like you know he could have texted the group chat and said hey guys i'm not dead yet just been passive aggressive oh like, <laughs> Like, communicate passive no, aggressive <laughs> he could have went there this is the thing sometimes you gotta play <laughs> i don't mean that <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I guess ultimately it's a happy story um it worked out between the <laughs> brothers, I mean, I will. I don't know. This, I agree. Are they conjoined? Yes. He was gonna be there the whole time. <laughs> he said, "Oh, that, sorry." He's like, mind. "What are you texting?" <laughs> He's like, um, "No, I'm not coming." 
<laughs> you guys, I forgot to tell my mom happy birthday. Is it today? No, it was a couple weeks ago. She said, you know, my birthday was April 23rd. Oh. And I said, I said, <sighs> Happy birthday! I was so I felt so bad. Cause she was just here, Key. She was just and here. And she pampered this boy. She did pamper me. <laughs> but the thing is, I have a lot going on. <laughs> I sound so bad, Mom. I love you, girl. Happy birthday! I'll make it up one day. Sorry, you Mom. Said... I'm, you're you're here on the list. <laughs> I got so much else going no, on. Cause no, I, I, I want to know what you had going on on her birthday. Truly, truly forgot. I was also yeah, in Austin, okay. so I wasn't like here. I was. It's like, you know. Yeah, I know. I was in a different time zone. I thought it maybe. Yeah, you know. I didn't know the time. You were probably closer to her time zone because of where you Leave were. Leave me alone. Sorry, not me knowing you. Do life. I sound like a terrible person? No, no it happens. It's okay. It's okay. Am I the asshole for wanting my friend to delete a picture off of his phone? I will tell you the story by steps. One, five friends and I go partying while on a trip. Aye. Two, a group of girls approach. Three, a friend watches me talking with one of the girls and takes a picture of us. Four, at the end of the night, I asked him to delete the picture because my girlfriend has serious oh. trust issues. And if she saw the picture, she would freak out, okay. even though we were just having a casual conversation. Five, he refuses because he said I have a picture of him intoxicated with alcohol, so he doesn't want to delete that picture. We've been friends for 10 plus years. We both have a ton of embarrassing pictures of each other, and he has me puking wasted. I told him the pictures were just memories, and he also had plenty of pictures of me in those circumstances. <laughs> I pleaded with him for a solid 10 minutes and explained why that picture could be catastrophic for my relationship. Six, he denied. Seven. I bargained with him that we both delete all the embarrassing pictures. Hmm. Eight, he denied. He wanted <laughs> just to delete that one and I to delete everything. Nine, after, uh, nine, after 45 minutes of bargaining, I got desperate. 10, I went full ballistic and told him the price he was paying if he didn't delete it. What, hold on, are we talking money? Murder? 11, <laughs> he refused. 12, I disassembled the door in a non-peaceful manner and reminded oh. him of the price of his stubbornness. Oh my oh. God. It, oh, I disassembled the door in a non-peaceful manner is Ooh, the most, man. that's the scariest shit I've ever heard. Let's give a serial killer. I, it, it, it's giving a Terminator. Uh, oh my God. Uh, 13, he gave me his phone and I deleted the photos from recently deleted Google Drive and Google Photos. 14, am I the asshole? <laughs> what ew, the ew. Fuck? Yo, like, so this is a thing. I, when it comes down to certain friendships, sometimes you can go there and like play. Like this was obviously the, like he was not letting this happen at all. Like this was like the cutoff. This is where he wanted to opt out. And like, if you have a good friend, like me and my friends, we keep it going. Like, this is my thing. I don't think he would ever send the picture to the guy's girlfriend no. at all. But if you have embarrassing pictures of each other, like why not keep it? You know what I mean? Just in case, just in case. Not me, not me thinking, <laughs> I, the, the way that this man is going at, at these points, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna delete it. And I'm like, it's going on my hard drive, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah. okay. On 13, he said, I, I, he gave me his phone and I deleted the photos from recently deleted Google yes. Drive and Google Photos. Right. So he went through everything. Exactly. And I like how he says he gave me his phone. It's like, well, you just busted down his door. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this yes. was uh, <laughs> consensual. Like, I think, it wasn't. I think, I think he was terrified. I'm sorry, this yeah, man yeah. is cheating on this woman. Dad. That's exactly I what even, it is. Dad. I don't even know wow. if that's the worst part of this guy cool. at this point. Mm -hmm. I He's cheating. Uh, he is doing that. <laughs> I think he's also killing people on the side. Serial killer for so, sure. Absolutely cheating. Extra mm -hmm. info that uh, uh -huh. he wrote down. This is also numbered. Oh, goody. Yeah. Oh so we can all uh, follow along. <laughs> one, girlfriend's trust issues are due to family history, not my fault. Two, we are all 25. Three, <laughs> it was literally a conversation about a class we had. Indeed, casual conversation. Four, all the conversation was on our way home and when we arrived, I busted his bedroom door. We are roomies on a trip. Five, I'll pay for the door. I don't understand what his need is for keeping that photo and ruining a 10 plus year friendship. 
I think a friend wouldn't even think about putting you in that situation. Mm -hmm. He knows my girlfriend has trust issues because of personal causes and less being fully aware of the context and possible consequences. I just think this guy is nuts. But, but, but like Jackie was right, he's straight up cheating. Oh, for he sure. just said, it's not my fault. It's not my f it's, fault. I mean, anybody that says it's not their fault, it's their fault. Yeah, the fact that you have this picture and if you don't delete it, that's going. you're the reason that you're, go you're going to disrupt this 10 plus. How, do, how did I get involved like this? I just think if, if someone busts down my door, I, it's, it's, I'm probably gonna have to call that quits. Like, uh, yeah. that's a lot, that's scary. Bro, why aren't we friends? Uh, you broke my door down. And you said you, you disassembled it in a non-peaceful way. Yeah. That's somehow worse than the actual kicking down the door. Yeah, yeah cause at least you know it's coming. Yeah, yeah. If, he had, if he had, I'm not kidding, if he had said, I, so I busted down his door, I would judge him less harshly. It's because yeah. he said that shit. Yeah, it was sneaky. That's some weird shit. Because he's also, he's like trying to like rewrite this narrative in a very specific way yeah. mm -hmm. where it's like, mm -hmm. who the f says it like that? Yeah. Like, are you trying to go to court? Yeah. Like, oh, absolutely. I broke the door down mm -hmm. in a non-peaceful manner. Yeah. And, and, and like reminded him of the price of his stubbornness. Yeah, like how does he talk to other people? Mm -hmm. I don't trust him. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, so some comments here. I disassembled the door in a non-peaceful manner and reminded him of the price of his stubbornness. This is the weirdest way to say you broke a fucking door in. This is just slightly below saying, somehow the door got busted down. Uh, someone else said, the numbering style irritates me almost as much as all these red flags. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's funny. Uh, someone said, this seems like an everyone sucks here situation. Uh, OP for obvious reasons, the friend because what the f unless he caught them like making out or something. And if the girlfriend is really that jealous and insecure, it just sounds like everyone sucks. <laughs> yeah. I'd be curious what this photo looks like and what the context, was he just like? You know what the photo is? Is him like, <laughs> like they're not making out, but it's like, hey, hey, girl. You think, so you think you, the friend, hey, like, girl, are you, are you drinking the cranberry vodka tonight? Cause, cause I can, <laughs> Um, cause my girlfriend loves a cranberry vodka. <laughs> like, that's the photo. That's uh, the photo. <laughs> what do you think the friend's motivation? <laughs> what was the friend's motivation in taking it? Do you think he's literally trying to like? Yes. He's trying to uncover it. What? What is know, in the like, mise en scene of the photo that would cause the trust issues with the girl? Yeah. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> Like, why is it so damning? What is he doing? Yeah. There's something they're not talking about. Um, we need another numbered list. Yes, oh my God, drive. I don't think I have another one in me. He's like, <laughs> he did it. Yeah, he's like, uh, also, the update, I cheated on her one time, but it's because it she count. went on a long vacation and yeah. didn't tell we were me. On a break. She was really sick, so we couldn't have sex. Yeah, mm -hmm. so um, I, I someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she shouldn't have gotten sick. <laughs> All right. Moving on from that psycho. Uh, she shouldn't have had her immune system fall in an unpeaceful way. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Weirdo. Am I the asshole for helping my friend get a job? <sighs> Why are all these hitting so close to home? <laughs> I, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of friends. I'm tired of family. I'm tired of everybody. Okay. Tired of my cats! Jackie, woosa, I need to woosa. Am I the asshole for helping my friend get a job? I, uh, this is a 35 year old woman, oh. convinced my best friend, a 25 year old woman, to join the business I was in. Oh. Let's call her Sarah. I explained to her that we could make a lot of money and be our own bosses by selling various household items. <sighs> Okay, uh, she was skeptical at first, but I managed to persuade her by showing her how much I had already made and telling her that this was the perfect opportunity for us to be financially free. Uh, okay, uh, she said all the buzzwords. Sarah quit her job to focus on the business full time, uh, just oh like no. I did. Sarah's a 25 year old? Yeah, so we attended all the meetings and events uh, together and we were both convinced that we were going to be successful. Yeah, it's Herbalife. However, <laughs> Herbalife! I, I actually think you're right. It's, uh, it's either completely. Herbalife, LuLaRoe, or it is, what is it? Mary Kay. Mary Kay, Avon. Avon. <laughs> However, 
Sarah just wasn't good at it. She struggled to make sales. <laughs> no matter how hard she tried, she just lacked the charisma needed to make it and was too worried about bothering her family by asking them to buy. She eventually fell behind on rent and was evicted from her apartment. <laughs> she had nowhere to go and ended up living on the streets. Even then, she still believed in the business and thought that she just <laughs> needed to work harder to make it work but has now decided that it is my fault she lost everything. Mm -hmm. Our other friends are calling me an asshole and saying I'm the reason she and her kid are homeless. Oh. Ah! Looking back, I don't feel much remorse for what happened to Sarah. I was just trying to help her. Oh my it's God. not my fault she couldn't make it work. I am sorry she is in a rough situation, but she could have been more committed and worked harder. So am I the asshole for getting my friend the job of her dreams? You just said she worked her ass off and quit her job for it. Oh what? Oh my God. You know what? This, this it's was... probably Cutco. <laughs> <laughs> probably sell out here selling knives. Mm, mm, mm. Have you? Have either of you ever been approached for uh, to join an MLM at all? Has that ever happened? Have you ever had friends get into it? Oh what? yes. Like, really? What? Yes. Like, I, I've like, never. I've that, never actually experienced. What's, what's uh, this is a, so. A this is clearly a multi-level marketing scam where mm -hmm. oh. or a scheme where where you buy stuff and you need to sell it to other people for more yeah. money. Like Herbalife. Yes. yes. Literally oh. Herbalife. The shape of the structure is like a pyramid. So it starts here, and they you sell it to people, and yes. then they buy that, and then they sell it to more people, and yes. it's pyramid it's, scheme. And, and it's it, like people on your downline. Yeah. Are, by adding more people to your downline. Um, it, it, yeah. Everyone. Well, I'm not explaining it to you. I'm just in well, general explaining. Yeah, it, yeah. But so like, for people at home. Yeah. So uh, they, add, you just add people onto your team, and as they buy product, you get a cut back of the money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So whether or not they sell it, it's the fact that they purchased product mm -hmm. that you are then getting a percentage. Mm -hmm. And so then people are left with all of this product, and they don't and sell they it. And they don't sell it. Yep. Um, uh, yes, I. Well, can, can, can I, I, the design of it is someone gets f***ed along the way. Yeah. And but Sarah got. F you gotta get in early. Multi-level marketing is a pyramid scheme, but it involves a product mm. to kind of cover it up a little bit, but it's a pyramid scheme. Yeah. yeah. And ultimately someone gets fucked along the way. Yeah. Can, can so. I give a shout out to my fifth grade teacher who hit me up on Facebook. It was like, hey Keith, do you want to make some extra money? <laughs> oh you know, and my I know God. It was her. I, and I know it was her because we ended up getting on the phone. So she was oh. like, oh. <laughs> I'm serious. You know oh. how sometimes like there's like you somebody. need money, yeah. So look, so <laughs> she was like, she hit me up. She was like, hey, how have you been? It's fifth grade, you know, all of that. I'm like, yo, hey, so and so, Miss so and so, we'll call her Miss so and so, okay. So I was like, hey, Miss so and so. She was like, it's been so long. Do you have time to get on a phone call and this, that, and the other? Mind you, she was like a, one of my favorite teachers. Damn. <laughs> she was great. She was really sweet to me. She used to put me in some art shows here and there because I used to like paint and stuff. So she was like really cool. Yeah. Not my favorite teacher, but like a really good teacher. And she me. thought you were her most gullible student. And this yeah, is the thing. So she, she got we got on the phone call. Got on the phone call. And I'm like, yo, how's everything? She was like, everything's great, but I wanted to talk to you about this herbal life. Straight up, she was like, you know, she explained to me all the things and this and other. She was like, but you need to like start out. You start out with giving a hundred, a thousand dollars, and then from there, you know what I mean. You know, we'll be in the y'all. I was like, hold on, I thought I like liked you. You know what I mean? I thought we were like cool, but like I knew what was something wrong. I'm like, somebody asking me for any money to do some stuff. Like you hit me up. Why do I have to pay a thousand dollars? Yeah. Can you just give me a thousand dollars? And the thing about MLMs too is like it's like every generation like it it just it's it gets repackaged every every couple of years. So like I have a friend that um, did Lularoe <laughs> and like I'm not I'm not pro MLMs by any means, but um, mm. for where she was at at the time, like having uh, her selling really well, like having that money in a certain place, like yes, she lost at the end of it, but like having this surplus at the time did help her out. But, 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 uh, specifically like with LuLaRoe, which is like they sell these, no, not mean marketing, they sell buttery soft leggings. <laughs> uh, but there's a documentary called LuLaRoe that's fascinating um, about like that MLM specifically. But there's like doTERRA with the essential oils. It's really popular for my Utah girlies. Yeah, uh, the fact that she does not see how she is involved <laughs> is, is a red flag. I mean, cause yeah, yeah. like, you're involved in these things. She must. She knew she was getting her friend into a situation that yeah. could completely f her over. Absolutely. I don't and think she does because she's thriving. Do you think she's really? Do you think she's, she's really? She's in it. She's truly in denial, yes. or like, like mm -mm. just truly blinded by 
the the real problem is that she didn't offer her friend and their the kid to stay at her place. That's a problem. Like if you get somebody to start doing some things, it doesn't work out. I, I like I mean I me personally I'll be like yo come stay stay with me until you get stuff figured out mm -hmm. you know yeah. like right yeah but like they're homeless yeah yeah, yes. yeah so. I, she's she's ten years older than her and like you know twenty five isn't super young but it's also like. She, I, I think she probably is preying on people she knows she can convince yeah. to get into this and like. Yes, and I don't like, I feel like people in MLMs that deep in that are like, this is an amazing opportunity. They don't know. Like they are, they believe it. Like mm -hmm. that's the other thing that like. Cause money's coming in. Yeah, cause, cause she's cause making money. money. Yeah, yeah it, it is money based. Like yes, she might be preying on her, but like, you can hear it in the way that she's she has this post that like she doesn't see she's like well you just didn't do it well like mm -hmm. I'm thriving like right. uh, mm. it just you just couldn't cut it and that's unfortunate because you couldn't like you need to pick yourself up by your bootstraps and you know you really need to find housing for you and your kid like mm -hmm. uh, maybe find another job but I did everything mm -hmm. I can in this situation and, and oh no it's crazy and there's a the, ridiculous the one of the comments here uh, pointing out you didn't help her get a job. She had a job, mm -hmm. and now she doesn't have a job thanks to you. You enrolled her in a multi-level marketing scheme. Oh You're the God. asshole. Uh, yeah, it's true. She did. She was really trying to pull her away. Like she was fine. Yeah, she didn't need this. Like she really was trying to like. The, the girl's honestly, she's really gullible. Uh, this they were her other friends because like you should. Uh, I always try to reach out to different friends before I make like a certain decision. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like and in, sometimes in he listens and sometimes he doesn't. That's true. I would not do it at all. I would I, not I, do any of I, this. I completely understand how people fall into this. Yeah, I, I completely yeah. understand. Bill, when you like, meet, I, I don't know. I, I, like, I, I she think, had a great job. That's the. I don't that, know. I don't know how. Let's see. Uh, she had a job. Yeah, I don't know if she had a great. Sarah quit her job to. It just it just said she had a, a job. I, I I highly doubt it was like. Obviously, she must have had incentive to be yeah. like, oh, I can yeah, have a great yeah. job. And she has a kid. Like, she probably yeah. was hoping, mm -hmm. oh, man, I can I can have, be in a place where I, this yeah. is have financial easier. freedom. Um, Would y'all do it? No. Um, I just need to ask. Yeah. I need to know who my friends are. Would like, you do that? Like, there, are ta there have been times in my life where I'm like, I really want this financial freedom. So if this is if this is presented to me in a way where I'm like, I'm going to make money, like I could see myself potentially doing it, right? Because mm. it's 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 also like a mind it's like a mind game. You're it's like wherever mm. you're out of when you when you, <laughs> when, you're when you're broke when you're broke yeah when you're broke yep, 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 like yep. you will do th if if mm. this is a way out of that mm. like I, like I could I could see myself falling into at yeah. this point no because I I know more now mm. but like would you do I something strange it. for a piece of change. Would I do something strange for a piece of change? Yeah. Do are we not on Smosh? <laughs> 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 Absolutely. I, <laughs> I guess I, I guess I also I can't I'd be hypocritical. I mean no, I, I, if I said no, if I was going back to pre 25 and like the whole like if the crypto thing happened when I was like in my early 20s, I could have seen myself just cuz you you're just like, yeah, this is technology. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. like yes. whatever yes. like yes. it's 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 like I said about birthdays with egos. Like if you if a human sees an opportunity to be like, I can make a ton of money very easy. Yes. Yes. It's like it's we're hardwired, like American culture hardwires us yes. to be like, yeah, like right. um, NFTs. Yeah, people are real quiet. NFT nation, so happened? quiet. I, I don't know what's going on. I forgot on. that even happened. Like, you know what I mean? It like, did disappear. It kind of like, wow. Like, but, but some people made some good money they off did, of no, that. No, they did, but yeah. not everybody. <laughs> yeah, not everybody. But the people that did, you know, like, what was it? Buy the buy the drop. Yeah, buy yeah, the, yeah. Buy the dip. Oh my God, I forgot about NFTs. Mm -hmm. um, last thing to just really seal how insane she is. To everyone saying it's a pyramid scheme, it's not. I am just cultivating my own career by selling items. It's a really cool business model and I'm honored to be a part of it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right, moving on. Yes. Uh, am I the asshole for playing around with deep fake nude technology on my friends? Ew. Hold on, no, 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 read that Ew. again, Shane, read that again for me, because I'm not, hold on, wait now. Am I the asshole for playing around with deep fake nude technology on my friends? That's Woo. so weird. That is, uh, that, that yeah. takes the cake for maybe the most immediately obvious title in all of these. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Deep, mm. deep fakes in general, like, it's some, skews it's, me out so bad, but like. <laughs> it's, it's horror sci-fi novel.
Like Ugh. it's, uh, long story short, I'm interested in emerging tech. Deep fakes and AI in particular, and I've been playing around with some AI image generators lately. Mostly harmless stuff. My day job is in programming, so it's a particular fascination for me. That said, I can be curious about the darker side of the web, and since the deep fake scene has taken hold there, I tried to create some deep fake nudes using pictures of celebrities, models I pulled off the internet, that sort of thing. And yes, I tested it on a couple pictures of friends I pulled from social media. Well, the wife didn't take too kindly that. You're married? <laughs> You're married? Well, the wife didn't take too kindly to that when she came across some of the photos on my laptop. She didn't believe me when I told her that I was more interested in the process than the result, even when I showed her the other AI images I had been working on. She called it a major breach of trust and is considering telling our friends about it, the ones in the pictures. It's oh, been a my. couple days and she is barely speaking to me. It's the uh, colon and uh, dash, so it's the like, or colon, uh, colon slash, so it's the... Oh. Uh, <laughs> Oh my God, she also saw a photo of her sister in there that was just the original from Facebook, but still I think that spooked her some more. So he didn't make a deep fake of her, but she was, she was uh, on the conveyor belt on the yeah. way there. Uh, oh my God. Babe, if you're making deep fakes and it's not me, then like what the f <laughs> If you're about to see what if his, wi his wife, there's none of there's her? Not, it's like, Babe, what? I want to respect your privacy. I, <laughs> I know I should have deleted the pictures so that it didn't seem like I was doing anything with them. And I've apologized repeatedly, but I feel like telling our friends isn't necessary because they won't understand and it could ruin our friendships. It could. She thinks that I need help and that our relationship depends on it, which I feel like is a little harsh. Um, so I think to be clear, because there's been a lot of dialogue about deep fakes, and it, I, I f think this is obvious that it's, it is, it is um, like, what, what's the exact terminology of like, you're not getting their consent. Like it's, it is a massive, uh, it's, it's a, it is a, I think it is effectively a crime. Like what he's doing is, is not just, oh, it's unethical and you're an asshole. It's like, I think these are, this is criminal. This definitely requires consent. It's such an unbelievable breach mm. yeah. um, in so many ways that uh, is beyond belief. If he really was like, oh, I'm curious about the, the process and all this stuff, he could have nudes of Jar Jar Binks or like some, but it still would have been weird, <laughs> but like I'm a sorry. fictional character or I'm something. I'm sorry. Uh, no. If he wanted, but like really. But what uh, about Jar Jar Binks? I think, I think already, I think in general, this is already weird that he's yeah. like, oh, I'm curious about the process yeah. of deep fake nudes. It's like, you're weird, yeah, man. Yeah, it's something um, he's not telling but, us. But the fact that he's like, so I used my friends. It's like, what? Like, he's into this, this is a kink. And also, I don't like that he, is like, oh, well, I, before I was just using celebrities and models, like, those are people too yeah. that you are also taking yeah. and making this stuff. This is really, really, it's, really messed up. Yeah. I think this guy has a, a little bit of a kink, obviously, that he needs to like get some help. And it's okay, we all need help in different areas, but this is weird. I wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't want to make see deep fakes of y'all. Sorry. Don't I keep I like sorry. honestly don't keep don't I, put me in it. I, <laughs> I don't want to be I, in the conversation. I think I think this is probably the tip of the iceberg because when he said like I can be curious about the darker side of the I, web, I'm like, you're into weird. Yeah. I was like man. Anakin immediately. <laughs> like, Anakin if, and Natalie Portman. If this is the stuff that he has <laughs> saved on his computer, yes. what stuff is he doing and looking at? But did what's his his wife is upset about it and he doesn't understand that there's an issue. Yeah, that's the part that's that it, really that's gets the part. me. That's, that's sick. That's divorce, like that's yeah. divorce. He should be embarrassed. Get yeah. out of there, he should be, be more than embarrassed. Like he the, needs therapy. The fact that he doesn't understand the issue is honestly the, I the issue. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's like, okay, he has a kink, potentially, yes, but like the fact that you don't understand why your wife is upset, yeah. that you even have had the thought to pull her sister's picture into the folder that said, uh, people I want to deep fake into sex. Like, yeah. people, people who I want to see their fake nudes of, my sister? Yeah, uh, I'm also I'm also not technologically savvy, but I would say the process for other types of deep fakes of like, deep faking your friend into having like a suit of armor is the same process as deep faking them as nude. True. Yeah. This is weird. Very specific. He's definitely doing this for weird reasons and he's trying to come up with excuses for it. Yeah. So there's some comments here. 
you're the asshole. Does this whole thing not feel creepy to you? <laughs> there are so many other types of deep fakes you, can, you could have made if you were just interested in the process. Um, someone else said she should absolutely tell them you are making pornography using this technology and plastering your friends' faces all over it without their consent. Mm -hmm. That's f dude. You're the asshole. I can't even believe this has to be said. Uh, someone else said, if my partner was doing this, I would immediately be packing my bags. Absolutely f***ing disgusting behavior yeah. and a complete violation of trust and privacy. OP, you saw these women as sex objects for your entertainment. They didn't consent to this. You should be absolutely ashamed. <laughs> I hope your wife tells them and leaves you. Well, that guy's a monster. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> this is a 25-year-old woman who wrote this. Uh, Am I the asshole for not telling my best friend, a 22-year-old man, that I went on vacation with his dad? Oh! 40-year-old uh, man. Um, <laughs> Turn up! Turn. Whoa! Ooh. Okay, I've known my best friend and his dad since 2018. Uh, this was in 2022, so for a few years. Uh, mm. My best friend and I met at college. He was a freshman and I was a junior at the same university. My first impression of his dad was that he was very nice and cool man. Never spent any time or talked with him one-on-one -on -one, though. I also had a boyfriend at the time. My best friend's dad is divorced. In the summer of 2021, I went through a really messy breakup. Due to that, I started spending a lot of time at my best friend's house. He lives with his dad, their place is huge, so he really doesn't mind this arrangement at all. <laughs> my bestie was always there for me during this extremely difficult time. While at my best friend's house daily, basically, I started hanging out and chatting with his dad involuntarily. I discovered that we actually had a bunch of things in common. My best friend threw a New Year's Eve party at his house. His dad was there as well. One thing led to another and we ended up making out all night. It was amazing. What? Started with the fall starting with the following day, we began going on dates, uh, texting, calling daily. I didn't tell my best friend about any of this because I knew he'd react badly, and I didn't know where this relationship was going either, to be honest. His dad invited me on a two-week vacation to Thailand and I accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I'll be like, Ugh. <laughs> Where's Brittany Bresky? <laughs> oh my God. He told my bestie that he was going on a solo trip and I told him that I was visiting family in another state. Fuck. The vacation itself was out of this world. Both of us had an incredible time together. Hmm. My best friend found out about our lie after he randomly <laughs> met my mom and she told him that I was abroad with a guy. When we got back, he went berserk. He told us that we're absolute traitors and that he feels extremely betrayed. Yeah. I told him that I didn't tell him because I was afraid of his reaction and that I didn't know how to do that either. He said that he might have been a little bit pissed at first, but he would have come around eventually if we would have been honest. We both apologized to him, but he rejected our apology, moved out of his dad's place, and now he's ghosting both of us. I personally think that he went a bit overboard with this. Uh. I mean, at the end of the day, me and his dad are consenting adults, and we haven't even been dating for that long, but I get where he's coming from, too. This is the plot of the kissing booth. Really? Basically. Oh, I need to watch that movie. No, you don't. It's <laughs> no. You really I would, don't. <laughs> I would just really hate to have an inconsiderate friend like that. So they became friends, then she started hanging out at his place a bunch, at a and party. then at a party made out with his dad, and then they started dating. So what? And now what okay, so at the party, was this like a college party? <laughs> like no, a college? it was a New Year's party. Uh, okay, so it's a whole bunch. A of New people. Year's Eve party at his house. Her friend's New Year's Eve party. Obviously, his his dad was there. It was at his house, and then she started making out with his dad at that party. Or did he they start making out? They both began with, to make they, out they, together. They, they, yes, let's yes. let's let's uh, make sure Sorry. we're keeping it. That <laughs> they both. Made out consensually together. Right. They met in the middle. Right. Yeah. I mean, look, with their faces. I, 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 I think the weird. I, I always think whenever I hear these types of stories, the one who I'm always shocked about is the parent. I'm just mm -hmm. like, I, I can't imagine being a parent and like, one of your friends, like, who's right around your 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 child's age. Yeah. yeah. And you're gonna start. It's, it's messy. I'm I, just like, that's. I would just think that's weird. It's like, messy. it is weird. And it's not. It's it's. The age gap is one thing, but if he was, if the dad was dating some other twenty-five-year-old, that's like okay, yeah. that's one thing. But it's, it's, it's still, I don't know. Yeah. But like, the fact that this is your your son's best friend, yeah, yeah. that's so messy. And you, as the dad, know you're probably f***ing up his friendship by yes. doing that. Uh -huh. That's I, why they kept it a secret. Yeah, I think like 
if look, cause not not even I this I have not had this, I'm being hypothetical. I have not had a scenario. <laughs> okay, just I just uh, put that out there. Have I dated a forty year old? Yes, I have. But um, <laughs> yes, oh, cool. <laughs> the ceiling is high. Uh, so. <laughs> I like both. Okay, like they. Okay, okay. Like let. Okay, let's just let's let's take the ages out of it, right? Yeah. Let's yeah. let's just say that it's um okay, your best friend's best friend or something, and like okay, you're 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 dating. It's like okay, you made it at a party, all right, whatever. Uh, you go on a couple dates, okay, whatever. You book a two week trip to Thailand yeah. before you get on the plane. That's bef- that's when the conversation need- is like. If this is if you are about to go abroad for yeah. two weeks, you're about to spend money. Y'all like want to have this. Like that's when it should mm-hmm. happen. Like okay, making out with whatever. Like not whatever, but like yeah, you, you, like, like I get, I forgivable. Saying, yeah. Couple dates, forgivable. Like is this a thing? Is it not? Is it just a fluke? Whatever. Right. You're the fact that you were trying to figure out if this is going to be a thing like that's when I feel like the the, yeah. the son should have b- got brought in and the dad should have the dad should have the conversation the best friend should have had a conversation I don't know who needs right. to go first but somebody, somebody but separate like, conversations like, yeah because yeah. if you're booking a two-week trip to Thailand you're in a relationship yes. fully and you still haven't told yes. your son and and to keep that kind of secret when it's like you're gonna have to tell him eventually mm-hmm. yes. the longer you go the more disrespectful it is and it's that yeah. you both don't view him as being yeah and you both come back with a tan right yeah right i feel i feel like it's, it's <laughs> definitely a sense of betrayal yeah it's definitely oh. a sense of betrayal and it's like that's gonna be it's gonna take a while for them to get over it for sure i also I, yeah and you know what's really crazy just like i personally think that he went a bit overboard with this and it's like it's like come on yeah i totally I understand this. Yeah, yeah, like one thousand percent if she was coming from a place of like i understand that this is up mm-hmm. like, yeah we have feelings for each other yes. and this mm-hmm. happened and i'm sorry and i fucked yeah. up it's yeah. like okay but to to, to the minimize it yeah is ridiculous exactly yeah. um, i agree they're the, both the assholes the mm. comments are definitely like you're the asshole um of course you're the asshole. You're sleeping with his dad behind his back and taking secret trips abroad. This is not even a lie by omission, and the way you phrase the title is intentionally misleading. You straight up lied. When we got back, he went berserk. He told us that we're absolute traitors and that he feels extremely betrayed. He's right, and you are all of those things. Mm. You no longer have the right to call him your friend, or at best, you're the evil stepmother. <laughs> this relationship cannot be salvaged. I wish you a happy honeymoon and to stay the hell away from your so-called friend for the foreseeable future. Uh, a massive you're the asshole. Question, if your friend started f***ing your mom, how would you feel? Oh, wow. Oh! You just flipped it and reversed it. Yeah. Uh, you're the asshole. You knew it the whole time, too. That's why you didn't tell him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It's that secret. That's this so messy. Shame. I, I mm-hmm. can't, I've, look, I, I've read these types of stories on Reddit before. Like, mm-hmm. it's uh, shocking. It's not common, but it's shocking that it happens. I can't imagine being betrayed by a family member and a friend at the yeah. same exact yeah. time. That's a lot and that to they take. like went in together and mm-hmm. had a yeah. secret. I, I just, that's gotta be. Jackie, I feel like you kind of said this earlier, but mm-hmm. like, is there a different way they could have gone about this? And like, obviously earlier. Yeah, like if it's like, <laughs> if it's like, hey, we're both trying to try, try around, like, but are you trying to have a relationship? Like, what is it? Mm-hmm. Like, right, and yeah. getting that out early because like I don't know the secret. Not all secrets mean there's shame, but there you're you're hiding something, mm-hmm. right? Like Absolutely. you know that you're doing something wrong. Like secret little relationships are like, oh, there's like a sexiness about mm-hmm. him, right? Like that's how they're portrayed. But it's like, what are you hiding? Why mm-hmm. are you hiding it? Mm-hmm. Like why why after you made out with your his dad, why didn't you tell him? Why because you knew it was f-ed up. Like it, it was weird. It's like I got back to the, the actual yeah. question you asked. But like I think if. Hmm. Probably after they made out, I would mention it, <laughs> and I'd be like, uh, "That's uh, that's weird." Like, "Hey, how would you feel if I went on a date with your dad? How would you feel?" He's like, yeah. Yeah. "No, right." And then All you right. got your answer. Okay. But she didn't want that. She, no, like, and, he, and the dad probably didn't, didn't no. want that. Hold like, on, oh, guys, it's... let's think about this. Maybe they actually really like each other. They that's, could, though. That's totally fine. What if like, that's the, you know what I mean? Like, let's put that out there. They could actually fall in love, and she could be a but stepmom. At the, at the, but then they need to have that conversation, and even mm-hmm. if it's even if he says no, and she goes, well, I'm going to 
do it yes. I guess we're not friends anymore yeah like you know it's like then we're then we're <laughs> yeah I guess we're not, I guess but like we're not for real it's like at least yeah. I'm, uh, there's respect there yeah because like well you're gonna live under my house gotta follow my rules <laughs> well, I am your mother yeah. I wash the dishes <laughs> yeah um yeah my god um well what a ride. Yo, I am exhausted. They put, I feel like I've listened to a lot of people's problems that are not my own, and I have my own. I, and it's a lot. I'm triggered. <laughs> uh, well, Woo. thank you guys for joining me. Uh, uh, you think it was fun. Um, it was great. I feel like I went on a roller coaster. And will, I you wanna, like will you want to come back? Yeah, I would come back. I would. Okay. Yeah, I'll come back and talk some stuff. Keith, are there certain types of stories that you would want to hear? Like, uh, what what realms of messy and petty? And Ooh, stuff I want to like? hear some black, shit, just some straight up black. Shit. <laughs> I love it. Some good. Yes. I'm sorry. I will say sometimes I hear these and I'm like, this white man. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like uh, I no disassembled shade. his door. Yeah, That's right. Like, no shade, all shade. I'm like, this is a white. Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me some. Well, thank you both for being here. Yes. Uh, this was uh, fun. Yeah, it was yeah, fun. It was it fun. Was fun yeah. um, reading about absolute horrible people. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, thank you all for watching, as always. And, uh, you know, don't be like these people. No. Don't. Be respectful. Be nice. Kind of a small thing I want to throw out there. Uh, if you like our Reddit stories and you like hearing us just talk and have conversations, you should go over to the Smoshcast channel. Uh, it's a channel that we've had for years. Haven't used it in a bit, but... um you should make sure you're subscribed to it because something might be coming next week. Uh, so stay tuned.